There are many unspoken rules in corporate and one such rule is the five minute rule. I'm sure majority of you are unaware about it. So let me introduce this rule to you. Welcome to Corporate Diary. Welcome back guys. So today I'm introducing the five minute rule to you. So though it's very generic, topic everybody should practice it in corporate but experienced people learn it somehow over a period of time so today i'm bringing it specially for new college hires or freshers you can say the five minute rule says never comment on somebody's appearance or point any flaw unless it can be fixed in five minutes to help you make more sense out of this rule i'll discuss few examples here which are very generic in nature and i have seen people passing such comments thinking the other person they are talking to is a friend so it's okay to pass such comments it's not example number one you're talking to a colleague and all of a sudden you happen to notice his or her hairs and out of curiosity you just tell him that hey you got a lot of gray hairs like seriously do you think he didn't know before you told him that he has gray hairs? It doesn't help in any way guys. It doesn't help. The person you are talking to will take it negatively for sure. Do you think he can do something about it or can fix it under 5 minutes? Forget about 5 minutes. I don't think so he can do anything about it. So there's no use of passing such comments. Another classic example is passing comments on the skin texture. I see it a lot with female employees passing such comments or showing concerns regarding these things. For example, you telling a colleague, hey, I noticed that your acne is worsening. Just think a bit. Do you think the person doesn't know that he or she has acne problem or it's increasing or decreasing? They know, right? Did your comment help them in any way? Did you do some knowledge transfer or something like that? No. Possibility is they already have tried so many things to correct whatever the problem is. Then why are you passing such comments? Are you showing your concern? Don't show. Unless the person is like your chuddy buddy and you want to show concerns by passing such comments, never do it. Corporate is not a place to show your concern by passing such comments. So please refrain from doing such things. Next example. Now this is kind of interesting. I see a lot of people passing such comments without even realizing how it will impact the other person. Somebody who's listening to it. Telling something like, hey, you look different today. Different in what aspect? It can be a negative different or it can be a positive different like looking good or looking bad than before. So it can have various meaning. If you really intend to give a positive comment, never end your statement at you're looking different today. Add that positive statement to it. For example, you're looking different today. Really good. Whatever you want to say or compliment in whatever aspect, add that statement to this. Never end at you're looking different today because the person hearing it will take it negatively. 100%. Freshers specifically have this habit of passing comments. They take everything very lightly and very casually. Don't do that. If you notice something weird about somebody's appearance, for example, the shirt is little dirty or is not so well ironed, do you think the person can do something about it being in office? I don't think so. So there's no use of passing such comments. Anything which cannot be fixed under five minutes after you tell about that flaw to that person, don't ever bring it to his notice. Possibility is he already knows about it. He made a choice to come like that. Now what kind of things you can tell and what kind of things can be fixed under 5 minutes and are not offensive to tell about? So here is a list. You happen to notice that something is sticking on the other person's face. You can just tell them and they can just, you know, wipe it off. So that's that's a help because he can fix it under five minutes. Another important thing that you can bring it to other person's notice is wardrobe malfunction. But there is a sub rule to it. Never point it for an opposite gender colleague. If you are concerned and you really want to let the person know, first let a same gender colleague know about it and then they can exchange the information. That's the best rule. These are really small things. You might not even consider giving it a second thought. But believe me guys, these little things have such a huge impact on the image that you carry around. This adds up to your persona. People will take you as a very thoughtful person and they would be more than happy to come to you and speak to you make sure you take care of these little things and think twice before you pass any comment to come across as a very polished person that's all for this video guys i hope you find it useful i'll see you in my next video till then stay blessed and happy thanks for watching guys take care bye <music>